Hey family and friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome and thank you for joining me. My name is Tina Doherty Stokes and I am a Color Street stylist. Please like and subscribe to my channel down below by clicking the subscribe button, the like button, and also the bell icon so you get notifications when I upload a new video. I will leave my links to my VIP Facebook group and a shopping link below in the description. Today we are going to do another Halloween set. This is Feeling Fabulous and it's it's a glow in the dark so I'm really excited about this one. And I'm also I have Two family members that have battled cancer and a very good friend of mine. So I am going to do, um, I believe this one was Choose Hope from last year for Breast Cancer Awareness. So um, first I'm going to open this one. To open it, let's just pull the perforated portion up the back. And when you open it. You are going to have the um, description on how to apply. And it is 100% polish, no dry time. And it's got a base coat, a color coat, and a top coat, all in one. You're going to have your prep pad. And a nail file. Ooh, I like this one. This one's so pretty. And then your nail strips. I always gotta get this sticky stuff off of here. So first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you push your cuticles back. What I like to use is the Sally Hansen Instant Cuticle Remover. You put it along your cuticle and it's kind of kind of like a gel. Let it sit there for a little bit, about 30 seconds. And then you can just take a cuticle stick and push your cuticles back. And then I file my nails to the shape that I want them. And for me, because I have um, thinner, um, more brittle nails, I like to use the Nail Egg Keratin 3-Day Growth, and I put, uh, I put one layer of that down. So before I put that down, I usually use the prep pad then. So I've just done the, um, the base, so I don't need the um, prep pad. What I usually use is, I just have a bottle of rubbing alcohol instead of using up the prep pads. So I'm going to open this and see what strips I have left to see what fingers I'm going to be putting them on. Ooh, this one's cute. Does that fit there? Yes, it does. I haven't worn these in a while, so I don't remember what ones I have left. My AC just kicked in, too. I think that's too small for that nail. Yeah. So I'm, I'll probably put these ones on my, on my index. Could actually use these ones on my pinkies too. I can get the smaller end on my pinkies. It's a tight squeeze, but I can get them on there. Okay, I'm gonna grab my. This will be like the third time I've used out of this package. But as long as you seal it shut right away. 
So this is my pinkies. That's my index. So now let's get into this fabulous and see what. See where we're gonna go with this. So when you open your package, you're gonna get two sets of eight strips. My nails are still short enough. I can get two nails out of one. Okay, so that's usually my pinky. That's usually my index. I usually don't use this one. This one is my pointer. Or, or my ring. I wonder, can I get this on my... Not wild about this one, but that's usually my middle. Alright. So I'm going to get the rest of these. Put back in here. And maybe we'll see them again later this month. Okay, so to get started, you want to peel this top layer off, and then, I know this end's going to be too small for my pinky finger, but this end, I can squeeze it on my finger. So I'm going to stick this here, pull this tab off. And of course, like I said, my AC just kicked in, so it's making a little noise. Get this off of here. And I'm gonna take this. You can stretch them just a little bit. And apply at your cuticle, but not on your cuticle. And voila, one finger done. And then you can take the rest, pinch it at the tip, perforate with your nail, and there you go. And then I take my, cuti my rubber tip cuticle pusher and just push it down in there and get a good seal on my nail. Again, take your clear top off, maybe. It's really stuck on there. It doesn't want to come off. There you go. Take that off. Get those little tabbies off at the cuticle, not on the cuticle. Don't mind my little sore on my cuticle. Because some people just can't leave hangnails alone. Ha <laughs> ha! It's actually healing pretty good though. And then just get that all rubbed down in there. almost toss that in the garbage <laughs> so you want to work from your pinkies to your thumbs because as you will see I do use my thumbs so I want to be at the cuticle but not on the cuticle this one the last couple of times. For some reason, did not want, I just, I was having problems getting it lined up. I don't know why.
Ooh, my ring fingers are starting to get to the point that I'm not going to be able to do both fingers with one strip. My ring finger on my right hand has a longer nail bed. It's not really that my nails are that long. So I'm just really pushing this into the nail, into that groove. And then I got a little bit of an overhang. Use my nail to take that extra off. And then on this side, I'm pushing that extra down in. And then just perforating that little bit. I've got that little bit of that one little spot that my cuticle just kind of pushes up a little bit. So I gotta clean that off of there. Oh no! Well, I messed that up. That's all right. I'm the only one that notices it. Okay, now the middle finger. And apply at the cuticle, but not on the cuticle. Wrap around the tip. Again, at the cuticle, not on the cuticle. Middle fingers are starting to get to the point that I might have to use two strips also, which is okay with me. Just getting it all rubbed down and then wrapping it over the tip until it cures. And then after it cures, then I like to go in and kind of do final um, filing. like to give it time to really cure to my nail. And by cure, what I mean is that final 5% that's wet that sticks to your nail. And it takes about half hour to an hour for it to fully cure to your nail. So then that's when I go in and I do my final filing. And then at that time, you can get your nails wet, apply your lotions, your um, any lotions, oils, cuticle oil. I love using cuticle oil. I do that two to three times a day.
but you definitely want to make sure that your strips are fully cured to your nails before you before you're applying any lotions or oils. Well, there's just a lot of noise going on outside right now. I think it's kids coming home from school. Because it's about that time of the day. People coming home from work. All that happy, fun stuff. So I'm just cleaning up a little bit along the side. One of my cats now is curious on all the noise outside. She hears the little kid next door. That pink is so pretty. I'm just getting that extra off of the sides. I like to, um, you don't want to have any of the strip left on your nails or on your skin. I mean, you want it on your nails. You don't want it on your skin. Um, cause anything that's left on your skin, when your nails start to grow out, your hair will get caught in there. And you'll start having lifting. So you want to make sure that you're that you're getting it all off of your skin. So now I'm just doing my thumbs. Like I said, I like to leave it kind of wrapped around my tip. Although that one's not going to stay there real well. There we go. And now to apply the last strip onto the nail. Make sure that it gets stretched all the way over to the side. Like I said, you can stretch them a little bit, but not a whole lot. Let's see. I kind of like to use this more than using the nail file to get the extra off. Just a tiny bit here on the side yet. There we go. So I got choose hope. 
on pinkies and index for breast cancer awareness. And then feeling fabulous on the rest of my nails. So you all have a good rest of your day and rest of your week. And I will see you next week. Bye.